Hey everyone, Usman here and today in this video we are going to see what are webhooks, how can we use webhooks for our personal notifications. Let's get started. So webhooks are essentially used for a lot of things in today's time. Webhooks are used for sending automated messages, for sending notifications on Discord or other applications. Every application, almost every application has webhooks for their use case. Now in this video we are going to see a demo for discord webhooks and why specifically discord because they are quite easy to work with especially for beginners so discord webhooks can be used for various things it they can be used for notifying the server for youtube twitch etc notifications so if you upload a video on youtube then your server will get a notification that hey you uploaded a video just like how you subscribe to a youtube channel another example can be whenever a new member joins you can send a welcome message or when they leave you can send a buy message something like that and there are many more things you can do with webhooks for this video i'll show you a demo of how webhooks work in discord and also how you can use them for your personal notifications so right now i have this empty discord server for webhooks testing and in here i have this webhook i named it website notifier and what it does is basically it tells me whenever a button is clicked on my website so this is my website and if you click on any of these social icons what will happen is discord will send me a message on this server that hey this button was clicked on your site so let's say i click on this youtube button it will of course navigate to youtube but it will also tell me that hey youtube button was clicked similarly if i click on the github button it will send me a notification that hey github button was clicked and so on and so forth so you can also implement this thing on your site i'll show you how i did it on mine and of course we have different technologies in our websites so i think you will have great understanding of how you can do that on your site just a side note i also have an article about this so if you are good with articles and not with videos you might want to check out this article in which i have explained everything with testing to implementing this feature and I have my website is built on top of Next.js, so I will show you how I did it in Next.js. So let's go ahead and create a webhook for our use case. You can create a webhook by going on to this title and make sure that you are on desktop because you cannot create webhooks on mobile. So you can go on in here and then you can go to your server settings. After going into server settings, you can just go into integrations and inside of integrations you will have this webhook now you will see an add webhook button because right now i have one webhook already it shows me view webhooks but you can create a new webhook by just clicking this button we have a new webhook right over here and you can give it a name you can give it an avatar i'm just going to say it's going to be let's say uh, website notifier 2 and i guess yeah the spelling is right and then you can select a channel i am going to select the general channel let's uh, go with that one and we'll save changes now another thing that you will need is the webhook url this is how you interact with the webhook i'll show you a demo of how you do that but basically this is how we interact with the webhook this is how you can send messages through the webhook so just copy this url and save it somewhere because you will need it later on you can also come back and copy it if you want and make sure that this url is secret because this your with this url anyone can send messages to your discord server so make sure to save it in a safe place so that no one can access it so right over here i am on hopscotch.io hopscotch is a simple api testing app just like postman or insomnia if you have used those so we are going to use hopscotch to test our api so right now i have copied my discord webhook url i can just paste this right over here and so here it is you can see it you can use it if you want i might delete it later on so over here we have a url so we are going to paste this url if you have experience with rest apis this is going to be easy for you but if you don't know what rest apis are and how they work let me explain so basically this url is a is an api so you send a request to this api with some data that you want to send for example i want to send a message from this webhook so i will enter the webhook url and then i will select instead of get i want to select the post request i can go inside of the body and right now 
so you can pass in some data so i'll just select json data that i want to pass json is basically javascript object notation so you can write an object or an array or anything you want javascript right and then inside of here you can pass in content and the content can be any message you want it can be an attachment it can be a normal text message so i'll just say a normal text message right and make sure selecting a post request selecting body and then instead of body you can select json and then and then you can pass in the content which will be a normal text message so now what happens is when you hit send when you hit send it will basically return back to you a status of 204 no content okay fine because nothing gets returned but if you look back into your discord server you will find that this bot right over here sent a normal text message that's what we wrote inside of content right so right over here i showed you how you can send a message but you can also alter the username for that webhook so if i just go ahead and add a comma and then if i say username you can change the username to let's say buggy whatever and this username will be used for that webhook to send the message now so if i hit send going back you see that was website notified too and now it's buggy so you can do lots of things with webhooks this it's not just to send messages you can find a lot more details on this page by birdie0.github.io i'll leave this link in the description below you can check out lots of things you can do like sending embeds sending images send uh, setting thumbnails and so on and so forth with examples of well youtube uh twitter twitch whatever right you can check out this website i'll put this link in the description below it will be very helpful to you so now we know how do we send messages to our discord server using this webhooks url and that's it for testing the webhook now comes the real part how do you add a feature so that whenever someone clicks on your website and the webhook notifies you that hey that button was clicked so i'll open my article right over here and in the article in this adding the feature section i show you you have an asynchronous function uh send discord message function you can name it whatever you want and then what we do in here is we use the fetch request so inside of fetch you can simply pass in the discord webhook url that you want to send a request to you can set the method to post you can set the body to the content as we did before as we did right over here in hopscotch you can set the content and you can set the content to whatever name button was clicked and then you can set the headers to application json that we did right over here you can also do this easily with the help of axios if you know what that is but right over here i made this simple for everyone to understand so just send a request to this discord webhook url and make sure to make this secret now when it comes to how i did this in my website i basically had this next.js project and don't worry if you don't understand it you don't have to understand it but for next.js people who want to implement this in next.js they can take a look at it so if i go to source pages api so inside of the pages api folder i created this send discord message this api route so this lambda function and what i did basically is i said hey send a fetch request to this webhook discord webhook url that is inside of my environment variables so just send this and then the method will be post request and the body will be same the name button was clicked and then the content type will be json basically that's how i sent a message inside of my api route and inside of my react front end what i did is i basically go, went on to the link and i set an on click so on click it will send it will call the send message function and the send message function will basically just say fetch the slash api slash discord send discord message the name is going to be props.name whatever name i receive whatever name for the button or for the link is and that's how easy it was to send a discord message you can do the same thing in next.js if you want to or if you're using swelt or view or whatever you can do that but make sure to hide this somewhere and don't expose it you can always take a look at my code on this github repository i will put this link in the description below as well you can view the code you can go inside of source pages api and then send discord message and also components wherever the social link component is you can look into this code however you want and if you have some suggestions let me know in the comments below let me know if this video helped you out and share it to others and finally thanks for watching